Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much positive energy and wishing you all a very wonderful Lunar New Year if you do celebrate it or even if you don't, I'm still wishing you a very wonderful day today filled with lots of love and happiness and joy. So last year I showed you how my family celebrated the Lunar New Year and I thought that this year I'll do it again since you guys loved it so much last time. Every year this is a tradition we have in our family and it definitely is my favorite tradition to celebrate ever since I was young. I just I really really enjoy Chinese culture and just the whole traditions and everything. So this morning my grandparents have been cooking away since the early morning preparing the food for tonight's dinner and they do it every year as well. All Chinese based and I'm so excited for it. And this morning I also decided to write some Chinese calligraphy since I haven't done it in a long time and this was the result. And these are all Xin Yan Zhu Fu Yu. So I'll read it out to you now. This says Xi Ying Zhu Nian Yuan Jun Shen Ti Jian Kang Fu Shou Mian Chang Ji Xiang Ru Yi Tai Yuan Gun Gun Xin Xiang Shi Chang Wan Shi Shun Li Xin Yan Kwai Le Hao Yin Ping An I just love, love, love Chinese idioms. It's so interesting how just a four character phrase can symbolize and mean so much. So I'm gonna actually give this to my grandparents as a gift today. I'm actually just about to get ready as well. I'm gonna wear the exact same thing as I did last year and I thought I'd just show you how I get ready just a bit. I've already done my eyebrows. A lot of you do also ask how I do my makeup and I haven't done a makeup routine video before but anyway, I'll just show you how I get it done. This, oh. <laughs> Let's be gentle. So this is the dress that I wore last year and it's always a tradition that I wear this on Lunar New Year since it's the only time I really wear it but I love it so much. <laughs> So firstly, I'm just going to apply some eyeshadow using this Nudes Chi Chi palette. So what I do is I generally take some lighter colors and put it in the kind of the half, the, the, I'm trying to explain this, the forward, the, the front, the, the first half, the first half, okay, the, this part of my eye and then just going to take a darker color and put that on the corner of my eye. And this year, if you didn't know, it is the year of the pig, so it is Zhu Nian. If you didn't know about the Chinese zodiacs, there are 12 animal zodiacs, and I'm year of the tiger, Hu Nian. And I actually memorized all 12 of them when I was younger at Chinese school, so it is Shu Niu, Hu Tu, Long She, Ma Yang, Ho Ji, Go Zhu. So it is the last zodiac out of the cycle, and next year it will begin again with the ox. So as you may see, it is a bit, it's not that blended well in my eyes, so I'll take just another brush and just just blend it out a bit just like that and I'm gonna apply some eyeliner too this is the one by elf we're not actually going out today we're just having a little small family celebration but I'm just gonna dress up anyway because why not every day of your life is worth celebrating when I was younger I used to save all the best clothes and nice clothes for special occasions but now I've just truly come to just celebrate every single day of my life and even if I'm working at home if I want to put on a really really nice dress then I will do that because the only time we ever have is now. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. So, you know, if you want to dress up, then just go for it. You don't owe anyone an explanation. All right, let's put this eyeliner on. So I just drew on a little winged eyeliner there and I'm going to do the same to the other eye too. And sometimes you might just need a cotton bud to fix it a bit. Alrighty, so the eyeliner is done and now I'm going to add on some eyelashes. Rarely ever put these on. I think the last time I put these on was actually last year for Lunar New Year, so we'll give it a go. Also, let me know in the comments down below which Chinese zodiac sign you are to, and if you don't know, you can search it just on Google, your birth year and the Chinese zodiac sign that's for that year. And since I'm a tiger, I have really found that I truly resonate with the fiery and pitiful the energy of the tiger. I've ever since I was young, I've just always been so determined to achieve my goals and always setting out to achieve them and not letting my fears get in the way of achieving them and also just being really protective of my family as well. So that's how I resonate with my zodiac sign and of course there are so many other areas and things I need to improve on as well but let me know as well how you resonate with your sign. Okay, so I think, well, I need to cut it a bit. 
And now just applying some glue. Oh. <gasps> I did it in one go. Ooh. And now for the second eye. We've got this. Alright, fast forward 15 minutes, literally. I finally have both of the lashes on and now lastly I'm just going to apply some lip liner and then this red lipstick to match the red dress. So that's the lipstick done, very nice and bold, just how I like it. And oh actually, yes, the earrings, I'm going to be putting on these ones here so let's put that on the earrings are on now and now i'm going to change into the dress and lastly do my hair now i'm changed and now i'm going to do my hair i think i just do a bun how stunning is this though i just love wearing it so much <laughs> and in chinese it's called the chi pao Alright, so the hair is done, just in a cute little bun there, and we're going to have a celebration soon, I'm so excited!这个是鸡丝两面两面小红掌豆腐小红掌豆腐哦这是马龙王的蒸鱼这是螃蟹这是八宝饭八宝饭饺子饺子炒芹菜饺子毛豆做毛豆嗯谢谢大家谢谢大
these eyelashes. Now just to remove the skincare, all I use, it's so simple, is my mom's essential oil. So just dab a little bit onto some tissue and gently wipe it off and that's literally it. That's all you need. My mom's essential oil, I share this all the time, but it's literally like a miracle essential oil. I use it on everything. It's so healing. And if you are interested, I can leave the link to this in the description box below too. Ooh. So that is all the makeup removed and oh my my headband I need to get that <laughs> Okay, for so tonight's skincare, I'm just going to use this exfoliator just gently on my skin and use it with the brush. So I'm just going to gently exfoliate my face and then after that I'm going to rinse it off and apply essential oil and aloe vera. Oh, and before I shower, I'm also going to dry brush my body. I might even do it now. And this really helps to stimulate blood circulation and really helps to regenerate the skin cells. It's a really nice Ayurvedic practice and the technique I've heard is to brush it towards your heart. Gentle strokes. And as you can tell, I do have some redness here and there, but you know what? That's okay. We're only human. And there's no such thing as quote unquote perfect skin. You're perfect just as you are. And I'm not afraid to show it. It's just real life, you know? I do get asked quite a lot how to deal with acne or other skin things that you may have going on and while there are a lot of things you can do the most important thing is to focus on speaking kindly to yourself speaking positive affirmations and not focusing on these things but focusing on overall health focusing on feeling good feeling happy that is the best thing you can do thoughts really create our reality it's more powerful than we may realize so as long as you focus on speaking kindly that will manifest into a reality from the inside onto the out as long as you accept yourself as you are in this present moment if you don't accept yourself now then even when your skin does heal you may not be able to accept yourself then as well because how you do anything is how you do everything so be happy now you are perfect just the way you are and don't let anything tell you or make you feel otherwise because you are just beautiful beautiful as you are and I'm just so passionate about it I am truly saying this with all of my heart I want you to know that you are beautiful it doesn't matter how your skin looks like or anything external your beauty comes from within so I just massaged everything into my face now it feels amazing and I'm going to shower and sleep I am so ready for bed and to sleep now and I'm actually going to listen now also to a hypnosis which I've been doing recently and just sleeping to that and I find that it's just been so high vibrational. It's really raising my frequency and it really is so powerful in overcoming any limiting beliefs and shifting into an abundance mindset. I highly recommend that so I've been doing that every night before I sleep and actually I also do just want to share with you an Instagram story that I posted today day because it came from this morning's meditation which I found so incredibly powerful. It just came through me, it downloaded through and I just shared it straight away so I'm going to read straight from it. Whatever you desire to call into your life is easy. The universe doesn't discriminate, only we perceive things as big or small but really everything is the same. Labels are limits. Your dreams are merely a dot in what the universe is capable of bringing to you. Your dreams are yours for a reason. You just need to believe it is possible and take inspired action. And uh, it just, I found that so profound because it doesn't matter if you would like to manifest a soulmate or if you'd like to manifest one dollar today, it's all the same to the universe. When you label something as really big and something that's hard to get, that's what you're gonna call into your life. It's a label and a limit that you've given, but to the universe, everything is equally the same and you just have to believe and trust that it will come so i hope that that gave you some insight today and if you did like today's video please give it a thumbs up so i know i definitely enjoyed today and i'm so incredibly grateful so i'll see you in the next video take care